Good morning everybody. Today we're going to do some side dressing, but before we do that, I got to head into this building right here and I got to do a little bit of more power washing and then we'll head into the fields and get to it. It's a beautiful summer day here in Iowa. It's about 7 degrees out, a little bit of wind, about perfect for anything you want to do outside, so I'm very happy with that. I'm glad that the rain's finally started to stop because there was a period there where it was just raining constantly for about a week or two, so I'm glad that we're finally getting some sunshine and it kind of actually feels like a summer. Mother God oh. I just got that on video. Oh my gosh. What I was trying to do there was not put my hand in the freaking door. I was trying to grab the door handle and I freaking shut my finger in there. Great way to start the day, baby. Great way. Not the most ideal way to start my day. Uh, shut my finger in the door, as you can see. But what I was going to say is I have four hours of power washing left. I have, I'm all the way down. I got 10 hours down because I figured it takes you 10 hours to go down because I like to be a lot more detailed on the way down. And it takes you about four hours to come back. So I have to come back today and I'm going to do four hours. It's currently 9.45 in the morning. I didn't get after it really today this morning because I power washed from 6, 6.30 yesterday all the way to about 7. I did like 6 to 7 and obviously I took some breaks here and there in there in that period but still that's a long time power wash and I was a little little tired. I hit the hay right when I got home pretty much and I just couldn't really get up this morning very well so I slept in, but I'm gonna make up for it. I'm gonna get this done, then we're gonna go into side dressing. Well, we're done power washing for this building. But I can tell you, I'm very, very happy to be done because I, if I had to do another day of power washing, I don't know if I could do it. I am tuckered out and I'm glad that I'm going to be done power washing for a long time. So with that being said, I'm going to get changed. I'm going to head home. I'm going to shower and then I'm going to change into clothes and see if my dad's running the tractor side dressing because he's been side dressing while I've been power washing. So if he's running it um, and he wants to continue to run it, I'll let him run it. If not, I'm going to jump in there and we're going to start side dressing. I decided not to go change. I'm just going to come over here into this north cornfield and kind of explain to you guys what side dressing is and why we're doing it. As I was power washing for the last couple days, my dad has started side dressing. We started side dressing yesterday and my dad has finished this whole north cornfield right here. So we're into the south cornfield across the road and that's where he's at right now. Hey, pig, get here. <laughs> they did not expect me to come up on the side. I don't even think they thought that was a thing. So what side dressing really is, is putting more nitrogen on, just not all in the fall. It's coming back and putting more nitrogen on in the summertime as well. We go ahead and start side dressing when the corn plant's about six to eight inches tall. So that's perfect. That's where we're right where we're at right now. We put nitrogen on three times a year, one in the fall, one in the spring, and one in the summer. Some of you may be asking, Sawyer, why do you put nitrogen on three times a year opposed to just putting it all in the beginning one time? And the reason for that is, it's better for your plant to get nitrogen, a little bits of nitrogen throughout the year as it's growing, opposed to throwing it all on at once and just hoping that none of it leaches out or anything like that. Anytime you put nitrogen on your field, in your corn plant, you can only account for about 80% of it because there's the other 20% some of it's going to go into the atmosphere, some of it's going to leach out, and some of it you're not going to get a use out of it for another year. It takes about two years for that nitrogen to work in. So that's kind of why we put nitrogen on three times a year. And the goal with this is, the goal with putting all this nitrogen on is to aim for about whatever you're, you want your crop to yield at. So we believe that we think we can get our crop to yield at about 250. So if you don't even go ahead and put 250 pounds of nitrogen on all your ground, you will never even get close to that yield because nitrogen is one of the most, if not the most important element to your corn plant. You need nitrogen to even have a chance to even get to that yield. It's pretty much the same thing as humans when they're trying to put muscle on. The consensus around the fitness world is you need a gram of protein per pound of body weight in order to put on muscle. It's the same thing here with nitrogen and how much you want to yield. If you won't think that your ground is good enough to yield 250, 
you better put 250 pounds of nitrogen on that ground or else you don't even got a shot. That being said, nitrogen doesn't equal that yield. You know, there's a lot more factors that go into making a great yielding crop. There's micronutrients, there's all different kinds of stuff that goes into a corn crop, but nitrogen is very, very important. We're aiming for 250 as our yield, but you know, we might not get there because there's some other factors. The weather plays a huge factor in any crop. So if everything else goes perfect, you had everything right, and you put the right amount of nitrogen on, nitrogen on, you could get that yield. In the fall, we put on 4,000 gallons of hog manure per acre. Per 1,000 gallons of hog manure is 45 to 50 pounds of nitrogen. So that's kind of where that 180 to 200 range comes from because you don't know how great your manure is each year. You know, one year it could be really great, one year it could have a little too much water in it, so the nitrogen level is not as good. So 45 to 50 range, 180 to 200 is the range of our hog manure. Next, springtime comes around. Your corn plants in the ground, everything's going great, and then you come and you spray for the weeds. When they come and spray for the weeds, they put about 40 pounds of nitrogen on when they're coming and spraying the weeds. So there's a little bit of more nitrogen on there. Now we're into the summertime, and it's time to side dress. And when we go to side dress, we put about 50 pounds of nitrogen on. Last thing on this magical rant about side dressing and nitrogen. As a farmer, it's very, very important that you know your ground, take soil samples, all that stuff. Because if I were to throw 250 you know, pounds of nitrogen on this field, and it was a, a field that could only yield about 150 because the ground's not great, you know, the type of dirt that it is isn't great, uh, it's probably a bad idea to do that. The reason that's a bad idea is because it's not a very sustainable way of farming. You know, some of that nitrogen can leach out and go into the creeks and that's bad for the environment. So that's why it's important to know your ground, know how much you think you can yield and put the right amount of nitrogen on. I hope you enjoyed my little rant there. I know it was kind of a long one, but for anybody that doesn't know nitrogen or side dressing or why we do it, that is kind of why we do it. And I, to all the farmers out there that watch my channel, I know that you guys probably already know this and that was really boring. You can just skip ahead but I hope it was knowledgeable to people that don't actually know what the hell we're doing. Another morning of side dressing, but today we're not gonna be able to side dress really because earlier this morning, it freaking poured down rain. Poured, and I mean poured. So all I'm gonna really do today is I'm gonna go ahead and chore, and then I'm probably gonna do a lot of editing because I have a lot of editing that I gotta catch up on. So I'm gonna do a lot of editing, and tomorrow if the weather is nice, we will go into side dressing because we really need to get this done and we really need to get this rig out because this isn't our rig. This rig is provided by the company that gives us our chemicals and nitrogen we use. They let us use this uh, rig right here. So we got to get it out because other farmers need to use it. So All right, so we're back. Another day of side dressing. We're actually going to side dress today. We're not going to get rained out, hopefully. Uh, the ground's dried up. It's not moist anymore, so we should be all good to go. It'll take me probably three hours or so to finish just because my dad pretty much did the rest of it. Uh, power washing took me longer than I thought it was. Before we head out there, we gotta fill this baby up right here, um, and then we'll be all full. And the tank, those tanks will be empty, this will be full, and we should be all good to go. all filled up ready to go so we're gonna head to the field and get started we have about 50 to 60 acres left and that's about as much nitrogen we got in this tank. It'll probably work out to be perfect, so I'm just gonna run till we run out. Fun fact for y'all, this is my first time ever side dressing, and I'm gonna be honest, I love it, just because, you know, I love being in the tractor, and you can go about six and a half to seven miles an hour, which is great, because you can fly compared to doing anything else. The one thing that I will say that I struggled with in the beginning a little bit was just not, just knowing where I got, I left off, because it's kind of, it's, 
it's harder to see where you got done versus just like tilling because tilling you can obviously see what you've tilled and what you haven't tilled so sometimes i got off a little bit on my rows but i got back i got the hang of it and i understand and i kind of see now where you just got to be conscious of where you left off but anyway chugging along got a got about probably two hours to an hour and a half left and we should be good all right so i just got this chunk all the way done so i'm gonna head over across this waterway over here i'm gonna head over to that chunk and start in on that farming something you got to be really conscious about when you're side dressing is you gotta when you when you get hit some rough spots you really want to try to slow it down because you really don't want everything you kind of want everything to be even you don't want everything to move one way or the other so uh that's just something you got to be really conscious about so sometimes i like to throttle it down if some parts get a little too rough all right so i just got done finishing up side dressing everything side dress everything has the right amount of nitrogen that we need for this crop to yield what we want it to yield if everything else goes right my dad and i are super happy with the way the corn's growing it's growing like crazy it's coming out of the ground real nice the weather's been perfect we got rain i think friday we got rained out it was about three quarters an inch of rain and then the sun came out and the humidity cranked up which is perfect that's what the corn wants and that's what the corn likes and just throwing this nitrogen in the ground putting the right amount on it's just like throwing gasoline on a fire it's going to make this corn grow even better and come out of the ground even more so couldn't be more happy with the way things are going Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to support me and this channel at any way, just all I ask for you guys to do is give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to see more of what this farm's about, what I'm about, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.